What's going on, guys? It's Ben here. It is the big day. It is uh, the return to Premier League action at Spurs away. Two weeks since the last game, Leicester. Um, a game in which we were poor, but we won. Uh, obviously, we take that again today. Uh, it's a lovely sunny day, the last of the summer. Uh, I'm in jeans. I think I've abandoned the shorts now for for this year. Um, but this is the start of a, a huge run of games. Obviously, PSG Tuesday. Uh, then we've got Southampton, um, Chelsea twice, Napoli, Man City. So this is the start of a huge run. Um, and we're favourites to win the game. That is, you know, that is what the bookies are saying. We're favourites to win the game. Um, so yeah, let's, let's see what happens with the, with the team news on both sides. And uh, God, I'm, I'm probably more nervous than most. I probably am more nervous than most. Obviously, I know the scars of last season are still there. Um, I, I know the force Tottenham are, especially at home. So yeah, I'm cautious about this one. That's why I said in my preview I'd take a draw. Um, I've got a bit of stick for that, but obviously I want the win. And obviously I think we can get the win. So let's do this. So here outside Wembley Stadium, as you can see, uh, hour and a half to go to a kickoff, uh, so no team news yet. Um, but yeah, lovely atmosphere, lovely day. Let's get into these. So Ian Doyle from the Echo just tweeted that there's going to be some interesting team news coming out in about 10 minutes, so that's something to think about. Um, yeah, so 10 minutes till team news is announced, and apparently it's interesting, so whether that means no Salah, or maybe Fabinho plays right back, I don't, I, who knows, who knows, but the international break's just finished, and obviously, uh, you know, haven't had a full week's preparation, so I don't know, a bit worried about that. Okay, so the teams are out, we're not that different to be fair. For, for Liverpool, it's just Keita in for Henderson, which is fine. Obviously, more attacking than we went at Leicester. I think we were obviously fancy this one. Um, the Spurs team is interesting though. Um, four at the back rather than uh, three. Sanchez dropped out. Uh, and they're going for a, a Dio Dembele Winks midfield. Um, Ericsson, Lucas, and Kane as the attacking players. So a bit more defensive from Spurs maybe, but we'll see. Um, starting to fancy it a bit more now. Time by now, Adam's header um, didn't even hit the net. A bit confusing down his end, but we lead. Didn't control the whole game. We looked great first five minutes, had a goal disallowed. Um, Spurs took control of it from now on in, but we looked really dangerous on the counter attack. Salah's been really poor. Um, but yeah, we can definitely get him on the break here. Feeling good. Yeah! 
five wins out of five. The Reds are flying. They're just coming out of Wembley now. I mean, they got nervy at the end. And for no reason, we were all over them. Um, two one really flatters them. Um, we should have been four or five up by that point. Um, Van Aldem gets his first away goal. Firmino scores in a really important and a, and a team that champions, you know, a result that champions get. We look like champions. We look like we can be champions. Um, need to celebrate tonight. That's a big, big win. Um, a big performance. Didn't take all our chances, but God, is that a big three points. Back in Stratford, uh, it's about four o'clock in the afternoon, so it's half time in the other games. I'm not even bothered about the other games. I'm not even going to look at anyone else's results. Um, you know, it doesn't matter. All that matters is that we keep winning. And 2 1 flatters Spurs so much. We were so dominant today. And do you know what the funny thing is? We weren't even that good. We weren't even that good, especially in the first half. Um, the first five minutes, we looked like we were going to assert ourselves very quickly. Um, you know, <laughs> It took us all a long time to realise that Firmino's goal, um, was it Firmino that nodded it in, uh, had been ruled out. Um, I think I was probably literally the first person to notice. I, I kind of looked around, I was like, Where, where's the celebrations happening? There's no celebrations. Um, obviously, I mean, from where we were, I, I was so low down um, that I couldn't even see that there was a hint of an offside or whatever, whatever, whatever it wasn't given for. Um, but it didn't matter. But, you know, Spurs took over the game after that, I thought. after. There was another chance or two that we had. Spurs took over most of the ball. Um, we were so wasteful. Salah was horrendous first half. He stank the place out. He was absolutely awful. Um, couldn't find a teammate in the final third. Couldn't take anybody on. Just couldn't make the ball stick. He was terrible. Um, thought Naby Keita struggled as well, to be honest. Um, yeah, we just couldn't get anything going from attacking sense first half until we get the scrappy goal. Um, I mean, we're, we're still creating chances. I mean, chances were falling to us, like the, the Salah one that he should score, he's one-on-one -on -one, uh, when, when Spurs make a mistake. Um, we're creating one or two chances, but I mean, in comparison to the second half, where we were almost perfect, we were so, so good second half. Um, the second goal deservedly comes. I mean, we came out like the ones that look like we need to chase the game. Um, Robertson was great. Uh, and then Firmino gets his goal. Firmino, that was his best performance of the season so far by a long, 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 long way. He was tremendous and we, we, we did miss him when he went off. Um, <laughs> when he got a foul given against him for getting his eye nearly gouged out. So hopefully he's okay. Um, I've seen pictures of it. It looks bloody horrible. Um, Vinaldum gets his first Premier League away goal and he was probably our best player. Um, there are lots of contenders for that. I thought Trent played well. Milner played really well. Um, you know, the, defensively we, we, we were strong. Van Dijk and Gomez played well. Um, Allison was good. I, I'm, I'm still not seeing what I want to see from Naby Keita quite just yet. I, I still think he was the weakest of the three midfielders. You know, just the the, the pass is not quite coming off in the final third, and um, it's, it's it's finishing letting down at one point today when Mane squared it to him. We just missed so many chances. Salah was wasteful. I mean, Salah got a lot better second half when it was two 0 um, and the floodgates were somewhat open and he had more space and he wasn't being marked so tightly and their fullbacks were bombing on. He was finding space in behind and he was doing some useful stuff, cutting inside. His decision making wasn't perfect but he was a big threat at 2-0 and that is what you get with Mo Salah when you get such a fast and skillful player. Um, and Mane likewise, Mane probably just edged it out of the two today. Um, doesn't get an assist for the second goal Mane but he was obviously instrumental in it. Um, very, very happy, very happy. We don't get the clean sheet it's a shame it's a set piece it's a scruffy goal you know I mean I'm not gonna get too upset about it it would have been a bit more of a statement if we'd have won 2-0 there it would have been a bit more of a statement if we'd have won 5-0 there which we should have um, but it is three points at, at White Hart Lane and you know I mean at one point in the first half there I was thinking I'll take a point I, just like I said in the preview I mean it was 0-0 I know and I know we were getting chance on the counter-attack but I was still saying to myself, these lot are dangerous. Um, Lucas Moura was getting in good positions. Ericsson was getting a bit of space. Um, they were having some joy. Um, Harry Kane was dead quiet, though. We kept them so quiet. Um, I, I, I know Gomez makes one mistake in the second half when he just when he takes too long on the ball and they, I think Moura gets in. He was great again. He really was, as was Van Dijk. So that centre-back partnership is looking really promising. 
Oh, five wins from five, and we've been to White Hart Lane. Sorry, White Hart Lane. We've been to Wembley. We've been to Leicester. We've been to Palace. Three tough places to go. Um, and the games are coming thick and fast now. They're not going to get any easier. So, wow, what a win! Two-one, top of the league. You know, I'm sure Chelsea are about to win as well. As I walk past the pub with Soccer Saturday on, um, I'm, so, I'm sure Chelsea and City will win. And you know, I'm sure we won't be miles clear. But all you've got to do is keep winning. That's exactly what we're doing. Um, so a great day out. Looking forward to the evening now. Going to watch Watford Man United and then watch, um, well, stay up till early hours in the morning for Canelo Golovkin, which I think gets off about six in the morning around here probably. Um, but yeah, in the meantime, hope you've enjoyed the vlog. Obviously, I'll be back with a PSG preview very soon. We'll be vlogging that game as well, so subscribe if you're new and follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat and Facebook for more. Up the top of the league reds.